So how about line 6? Let's close line 6. I'm going to close line 6 right here by saying G, or not I. Well, G, not G. <coughs> so that one's out. And underneath not I, we have two possibilities because we still have to close line 7. Which we'll now close by saying I, or not H. Now we can follow I up to the not I and close that line. But the non-H comes up to a non-I, non-G, non-F, and we find out that those are the truth uh, functions, the truth assignments that will allow this truth table to be, or this, uh, this statement up here to be true. So we allow one open branch on this truth tree. Okay, the next one is a big set of three disjunctions conjoined, joined up by conjunction. So let's divide there. We've got our three disjunctions. One, two, three. And here we have conjunctions joining them all together. And we're going to put these two together in a term so that our main connective is there. Because there's always one main connective in your sentences, of course. And the terms we're filling this in with is F or not G. G or not I. and I or not H. And now that's our only assumption. So from there we're going to decompose everything. So on line 2 we begin our decomposition. Uh, from line 1, ampersand decomposition. Ampersand decomposition also on line 3. And we're going to get our two atomics out of there. Uh, we have F or not G, and we have G or not I, and I or not H. So we've closed line one, if we may. Then uh, line 4, we're going to go ahead and close line 3 up. Line 4 and 5, therefore, become from line 3 uh, an ampersand decomposition, where we get either G or not I, and we get I or not H. So that line is closed. So now we've got to get rid of our disjunction from line 2. So let's do a disjunction decomposition from line 2. And of course it gives us possibilities of F or not G. And that's line 6. F or not G. Uh, so let's go on and decompose now. We've decomposed that one. Let's decompose G or not I by doing this here. So we get G not I. Now we can automatically close this line because we have G and not G both representing themselves and that won't do. So line 7 this is a G decomposition of line 4. Uh, the disjunction on line 4. So on line 8 now, we can go down and from, uh, from this G here, we got two terms. And from this I, we got to go to two terms. 
the G comes to I negative H of course the same here and we're going to bring this one down to I and negative H and where do we get the I and negative H? Of course from the last line we have to close I or negative H. So let's look at each line I, G, F so we're fine there. I, not I, F. Uh oh, we got to close that one. How about this one? Not H. G, F. So we're going to leave this one open and this one open. And close this one. How about not H, not I, F? So this one's open, so we're okay there. Not G, we already closed. I, not I. Close it. Not H, not I, not G. So we're going to leave that one open. So we got four. One, two, three, four open branches on this truth tree and two closed branches.